Hello everyone and here we are again for another episode of Do You Cook English? If you're not hungry at the moment, you soon will be after this episode. In any case, you will certainly enjoy what we are cooking here at the kitchen at Chateau de la Mazure today. And, in addition, it will finish up the remains of your Sunday roast chicken lunch. A consommé de poulet au vermicelle. As usual, our chef will prepare the recipe in a few moments. But first, as you well know, I will explain the grammar rule, which will, of course, be today, the English future tense will. The future, will or won't. How to form the future? You take the subject plus will plus the verb. For example, they will write. They will not write. They won't write. Will they write? How to use it? You use this for intentions. For example, they will come with you. They won't come with you. Will they come with you? They have the intention. Also, you use for future events within cycles, schedules or for habits. For example, the chef will arrive at nine o'clock. The chef won't arrive at nine o'clock. Will the chef arrive at nine o'clock? We also have the continuous future. This is formed by taking a subject plus will be plus the verb plus ing. For example, we will be cooking tomorrow. They will not be cooking tomorrow. Will you be cooking tomorrow? You use this for a continuous action in the future. Take note, will or will not are very often contracted. For example, he'll come, I won't come. They'll be cooking, they won't be cooking. So now, I will introduce you to our chef from the Cercle Culinaire de France, Marie. So you'll be our chef today, Marie, huh? I won't disappoint. Jolly good. Marie is a great chef and today she'll be cooking us a hearty consommé de poulet au vermicelle. Notice the contractions here. We will be using a lot of them today as it is very common in modern spoken English. I promise you, you will not survive without them, okay? So, today it's the consommé de poulet, a recipe which will allow you to use up your leftover chicken. You'll be able to consider yourself eco-friendly after this. Hmm. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. We'll start the recipe straight away. First, remove all the leftover meat from the chicken. You'll see how Marie does this simply using her hands or with a knife. Now, she'll take a large saucepan and cook the meat with the butter. Next, Marie will add the onions and then the other vegetables into the pan. She will now add the water along with the chicken wrapped in muslin. She'll now simmer this over a low heat until the vegetables are cooked. The longer it is cooked, obviously, the more flavour it will have. Finally, Marie will remove the bird and then add a handful of vermicelle and a little cumin. Et voilà, Anna. Tu pourras le déguster maintenant. It looks and smells delicious. So, what Marie means is that I'll be able to taste it now. Well, I will be able to taste it when it cools down a little bit, but it does smell great. Anyway, that will be it from both of us today. We hope that you enjoyed the recipe and also that you'll try it out in the future. At least now you'll be able to try out the English future tense. Hmm? So, see you next time on Do You Cook English? when we will be cooking another delicious dish and, of course, speaking English. And remember, you can send us some of your consommé de poulet photographs to our Facebook page. So we'll be very interested to see how they turned out. Anyway, until next time, from both Marie and myself, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.